This Mobile Geeks video is powered by ASUS. Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks. I'm at the NVIDIA Ballroom at the Grand Hyatt at Computex 2015. And I'm about to go in and check out their new demo for virtual reality. Now, I have to admit that I'm a huge fan of what HTC is doing with the Vive. All of the sensors on the headset make, and, the, and the, the sensors that lay out the room make it a holodeck experience that you can actually walk around. Now, NVIDIA is showing something very similar now. They have a sensor that's actually mapping you out as well, but it doesn't let you know where the edges of the room are, and it just makes it so that you can kind of interact with the demo by moving around and taking some steps and moving back and forth. Now, I really did try to push the boundaries of this kind of technology by ducking down and moving quite quickly. And to be honest with you, there was a lot of pushback in the graphics. Like suddenly the car was significantly further and then suddenly some of the rocks were kind of flat. Now, NVIDIA isn't actually making the Oculus Rift better because that's exactly what it is. This is an Oculus Rift. So we're kind of bound to how good uh, the Oculus Rift technology is. But what NVIDIA has done is they have their um, 980 Ti graphics card. But what they're doing is, is that they're increasing the frame rate so it's a lot smoother, which improves the experience. But they're decreasing the kind of sharpness around the edges, focusing in on the middle, which is completely fine with me because you're focusing on center mass anyways. You're not trying to look at your peripheral vision all the time. And the way that these VR demos are currently structured is when you turn to the side, the graphics haven't actually, you know, they're not huge 3D, they're not like incredibly detailed because they want you to be focusing on the moving parts, the kind of wow factors, right? So this is already kind of built into the way they're building 3D right now. So that's enough talking. Let me show you what I look like uh, with the demo. And so I'm actually gonna talk you through what I see as well as show you what I'm seeing. So here I'm wearing the NVIDIA headset. Right in front of me, I've got the Unreal logo. I can move around. So what's happening is there's a sensor on the wall over here. And so I can kind of move around in the range of the sensor. Now I'm moving forward a little bit and I kind of wish that I was walking. That would be actually better for my brain. But when I'm kind of moving around this guy and looking backwards, I'm still moving back, but I can see all the way around him. And the debris that's flying up over here is definitely in 3D, right? And like the rocks, they have some good texture to them. And coming up from the ground, the spinning and the angles of the rocks actually looks quite, but that, that rock that just past looks a bit flat, but these ones actually really have a good 3D shape. Now, Analyzing the rest of the scene, it's not that crisp, but for all the action, it actually uh, stays into the foreground quite nicely. Now the explosion here of the car, this is actually really impressive. The, the, the flame seems a bit, yeah, it could use a bit more detail, but what's cool is, as the car goes past me and I duck down, the car actually stays the same distance and, I'm, and so it moves relatively. Uh, the guy inside the shirt actually has a good amount of detail to it. So actually that car is very cool. Now this robot, I, I still get terrified every single time. It's enormous and when I look up it looks even bigger. And this slow moving garbage can. I'm not going to get afraid this time. I'm not going to get afraid. <laughs> it's terrifying! <laughs> so. What do you guys think? Are you on board with virtual reality? To be honest with you, 2015, this is the first time that I am legitimately, again, excited about a technology. Now, I'm gonna tell you my dream, now don't go around stealing it, I wanna open a Star Trek cafe. Different rooms, and then you can come out to the bar, and I'll serve you Earl Grey martinis, and molecular gastronomy, and make it like a fabulous evening out at the holodeck. I mean, I think we are approaching a time where the technology is going to be there. So, here's me getting stoked about something. 
that's not a smartphone or a tablet or a laptop. Finally, I'm excited about virtual reality. So Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks at Computex 2015 here in Taiwan.